Hey everyone, today we're going to check out the Neo Air X Therm from Thermarest. It's an inflatable sleeping pad that's popular with cold sleepers and anyone camping in four season conditions. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ben and I'm part of the team here at the Adventure Junkies where we help people like you choose the right gear to get outdoors. If you want to learn more, visit our website at www.theadventurejunkies.com. Now on to what you're really here for. Our review of the Thermares NeoAir X-Therm sleeping pad. So let's check out what's in the box. Should have an inflatable sleeping mat, a pump sack, instructions. So here's the sleeping pad. Um, it's a good size, nice and small for a very warm sleeping pad. As you can tell, it's just slightly shorter and slightly wider um, than this 32 ounce water bottle. Not too bad. All right, let's get it out and see how easy it is to inflate. Pump sack. All right, so like many of Thermarest's newer lines of sleeping mats, um, sleeping pads, this does utilize their wing lock valve. And with this wing lock valve, it's, it's not my favorite valve system. It's a little clunky to use sometimes, um, but it does work fairly well. Um, it does allow one-way inflation. So to inflate this mat, we're gonna turn the blue part of the valve counterclockwise. That allow, that's gonna allow one-way inflation, allows air into the mat, but not out of the mat. When we go to inflate it, you'll see that we also will wanna turn these wings counterclockwise, but not yet. All right, so we're going to attach the pump sack to the valve here. And this is the part for me that is harder than I think it needs to be. I always seem to struggle um, with all of the wing lock valves to get the pump sack attached. There we go. All right. Just gonna go ahead and inflate it. Now with the pump sack, uh, you wanna blow air from six inches to a foot away. Nice and easy, capture the air. Pump down, pushing air into the mat. Probably one more. All right, and I'll call that fully inflated. And as you can see, pull the pump sack away from the valve to disconnect it, and that's still gonna hold air. But when you're done, turn the top part, the blue part of the valve clockwise, and that'll close it down to make sure it doesn't leak at all. So the regular size of the Thermares Neo Air X Therm retails for $229.95. As is the case with all of Thermares sleeping pads, it's actually manufactured right here in the United States. And that is from globally sourced materials. And what that basically means is that some of the materials being used have the potential to be uh, sourced from outside of the United States. The Neo Air X Therm weighs in at 15 ounces or 425 grams. It's two and a half inches or 6.4 centimeters thick and has an R value of 6.9. The X-Therm actually boasts the most warmth per ounce of any ultralight sleeping pad available on the market today. So let's go back to the R value. I mentioned that the Neo Air X-Therm has an R value of 6.9. That's a really high R value. That gives this pad um, four season rating. You can definitely use it uh, in the winter. Now the R value is how manufacturers basically rate how well a sleeping pad insulates. Um, when you sleep directly on the ground, if you've ever done it when you're camping, uh, the ground just sucks your body heat straight out of you. Um, and the sleeping pad is actually resisting that heat transfer, and it's that resistance that gives you the R value rating. R value is usually rated on a scale of zero to six plus, with 6.9 being the six plus. Um, and anything over five is usually considered um, 
a sleeping pad you could use in the winter. So the X-Therm does not come in a women's specific fit. However, you can purchase it in a variety of sizes. Uh, this is the regular. Uh, it comes in a regular wide and a large size as well. Uh, the regular size that we're taking a look at today measures 72 inches uh, or 183 centimeters long and 20 inches or 51 centimeters wide. Uh, all of the sizes available are going to be this mummy shape and that basically means that it's wider near your shoulders and head, tapers off down near the feet. The outer portion of this pad is made from 70D ripstop nylon um, and that's great. It's a really robust fabric and it's going to help uh, prevent punctures. Uh, when you have this out in the backcountry. Now, the D in 70D refers to denier. Now, without going too far into it, it's basically a unit of density um, based on the thickness and the weight of the fibers being used. The higher the number, theoretically, the stronger the fabric. Now, all inflatable sleeping pads are susceptible to punctures, and this pad is no different. Um, the 70D ripstop nylon definitely helps but you want to take good care when you're using air-filled mats. Um, usually want to inflate it on inside your tent, on a footprint, usually not directly on the ground. And, that, and that'll really help prevent punctures. That being said, Thermarest, all Thermarest products come with a great warranty. Uh, it's a lifetime guarantee against any defects. If you have any problems, you'll be able to return it and uh, get a new one. So to keep you warm, Thermarest uses two types of insulation inside this pad. Uh, the first type is going to be their Therma Capture technology. That's basically um, a few layers of a reflective film, kind of like Mylar, that will reflect uh, warm body heat back up towards you and cold air back towards the ground. Now the second type of their insulation in here is going to be their triangular core matrix. And basically what that does is it prevents warm air and cold air from mixing. So the warm air stays near your body and the cold air stays away from your body. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button so more people like you can find it. All right, so just a few things with the Neo Air X Therm that I wanted to address. You can see that they utilize horizontal baffling in this sleeping pad. And I'm not saying that horizontal baffling is inherently bad, but for me, what I've found is that a lot of times with baffles like this on inflatable mats, when I get towards the edge, I tend to lose stability. Um, and this pad is no different. I found the center of the pad to be very stable and provide a really stable and, and pleasant night's sleep. But I do, roll, uh, I do roll around a lot in my sleep, so when I get towards either edge, um, I do feel like it gets a little squishy. Um, in a perfect world, I think I would prefer the wide version of this just to expand um, my room of comfort um, with being such an active sleeper. Um, not a, not a deal breaker for a lot of people, but it was an issue for me. The other thing is that this is a somewhat slidey material. And what can happen there, especially if you're camped on an incline, your sleeping bag might slide down the sleeping pad or your entire sleeping pad might slide down your tent. Um, can definitely be prevented, but it's just something to think about. And the other thing, sure you've noticed but this is a very noisy sleeping pad it definitely has the quote-unquote chip bag sound that people dread so much um, so you know just something to think about I did find this pad to be really uh, comfortable especially when you were in this center comfort zone as I like to call it um, I didn't bottom out with my shoulder or hip none of my limbs went to sleep um, overall the two inch thickness seemed to be just about right for this pad, especially for the amount of warmth that it provided. What I will say is this is probably the warmest, this is without a doubt, the warmest lightweight sleeping pad I've ever used. Um, it's impressive really. The, the, the two types of insulation they use really help warm the pad. So as you're laying there, you can actually feel the pad warm up. Uh, kind of a sensation I haven't had before with lightweight sleeping pads. I'm extremely impressed. I think this might be overkill, especially at the price point for a lot of summer campers. Uh, but for cold sleepers and wintertime camping, this is my new go-to pad. So in terms of inflating and deflating, I think this pad is pretty par for the course for all of Thermarest's uh, sleeping pads. As I already mentioned, they use the wing lock valve system. Not my favorite, not my least favorite. Um, inflation is pretty easy. I already mentioned that connecting the uh, pump sack to the valve can be a little bit of a pain, but it dumps air fairly quickly, um, making pack up, you know, not doesn't dump air 
the quickest of any sleeping pad I've ever used, but I think it does a pretty good job. All right, so let's go ahead and dump the air out of this and I can show you guys just how uh, the deflate process works. So to deflate, it's pretty simple. You grab the orange tabs on your wing lock valve and you'll turn them counterclockwise. And you wanna do the same for the blue valve on the top. Counterclockwise. So I'm not sure if it's a function of the insulation or just the valve itself, but you will need to do a pre-roll. You can hear So now the air is out, and I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if that's a function of the insulation type, the triangular core ma matrix, or just the wing lock valve in general, but it does add one extra step. So let's go ahead and roll it up. It's actually still a little air in there, but not much. You can see it. That's why it doesn't want to stay folded here, but that's okay. Okay. And I forgot to do the stuff sack, but it's no big deal. I usually just do that right around the outside. Now I always like to see how easy sleeping mats can go back inside their stuff sack because one of my, this one's not bad, it's user error. Um, one of my pet peeves is when companies make stuff sacks too small for the product and it just makes it a pain uh, to pack up, but no problem. Plenty of room in this stuff sack. Uh, yeah, so deflating it, um, not the easiest. Uh, it was kind of a pain, but uh, still easier than a lot of other sleeping mats on the market. I'd give it a solid middle of the road score um, for deflation. Now let's jump into the conclusion, just to kind of wrap things up here. This is an inflatable sleeping pad, and it retails for $229.95, um, definitely on the premium price point end of things. Now it's 15 ounces or 425 grams, it's two and a half inches or 6.4 centimeters thick, and has an R value of 6.9, making it a winter rated sleeping pad. Um, 72 inches or 183 centimeters long, and 20 inches or 51 centimeters wide. And again, it's the mummy shape, meaning, meaning that it's uh, wider at the shoulders and the head and tapers off down near your feet. All right, so what do we really like about it? Uh, we just like the warmth. Um, the warmth to weight ratio is incredible. Um, it provides a comfortable night's sleep, no bottoming out. It feels like it's made nicely, comes with a good warranty. Now, I've been talking about how much I like this sleeping pad. There are some downsides. I don't love how slippery the material is. If you get towards the edge of the sleeping mat, it does lose a little stability. And as I mentioned, the wing lock valve, while not being my least favorite valve in the world, um, definitely has some room for improvement. Uh, it would really help with deflation and pack up. So who's this product for? This product is for all you cold sleepers out there. Now at the price point of $229, it's gonna price a lot of people out on this pad, but if you spend quite a bit of time in the backcountry and you value a warm, comfortable night's sleep, I would suggest looking into this. Uh, it was surprisingly warm. It's also gonna be good for anyone camping in the winter, all you four season campers out there. Now at that price point, it's gonna be a little overkill for three season camping, but for anyone who's doing any type of winter camping, Definitely, definitely, de definitely check out the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. I recommend it. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't know what gear to bring hiking, or maybe you've just wasted money on the wrong gear in the past, then you definitely need to get a copy of this book. It's called The Beginner's Guide to Hiking Gear, and we've created it with the total beginner in mind. 
It'll help you learn what gear you need versus what gear is just nice to have versus what gear you don't need. It covers everything you need to know, including how to choose each item and specific product recommendations based on your budget, gender, hiking destination, and more. You can pick it up on Amazon and it's available in paperback and for the Kindle. Check out the link in the description below. Happy hiking! of Thermarest sleeping pads. It comes with a lifetime warranty. <laughs> that beeping, come on.